All right, just a quick disclaimer. The video that you're watching now was 100% edited using AI. So if it has some glitches, if it has some hiccups, be kind because the script is still in beta, still being tested out. But I want to put this up to show you what is currently possible. It's absolutely amazing. The idea for this Python script came from this YouTube video, how I automated video editing with AI, GPT Omni 3 Mini High Easy by Leonardo Gregorio, the AI Forge. And the idea in this video is an AI video editor. It's a Python script that takes your raw video file, it transcribes your voice into text, and then sends that text over to an OpenAI API, something like GPT-4 Omni, finds out which part of the dialogue should be kept in the final video, and then edits out all the cuts and then post-processes it. If you wanna test the code out for yourself, he generously provides it in the description. But just a word of warning, that final code that he shares, I had a lot of problems with it and it needed a lot of edits. But it's a good starting point, and I want to show you what I came up with. The original code came in a main.python file, and the first thing I wanted to do was test it out to see if it worked right out of the box. So I opened up my command prompt terminal, I went over to my folder that hosts the Python file, I installed all of the dependencies, I ran the file, but I got a bunch of errors. So next I copied all of my code, it was 289 lines went over to ChatGPT. I picked the new 01 Pro mode model. This is my Python script that automatically edits a raw video using AI. Can you go through the code and tell me if there's anything that might need fixing? And then I pasted my code in. With 01 Pro, you get this little box right here. It says that it's reasoning. And the reason time is usually between two and 10 minutes. At any point, you can click on the details button and you can see exactly what's going on. And you can see exactly how the model is reasoning out its steps. It's finally finished. It says Python script review and it reasoned for two minutes and 55 seconds. So O1 Pro gave me a bunch of suggestions. I look through, I did add this to the final code. I did look at this as well. And some of the suggestions I had to ignore, and this is one of the major problems that I found with O1 Pro, the data that it's been trained on is not up to date. For example, it says that GPT-4 Omni doesn't exist. So when I asked it to take all of these suggestions and put it into its final code state, it actually changed the model name to GPT-4 and updated some of the other OpenAI libraries, like this right here, and it ended up causing some errors. For up-to-date information, I believe it's actually better to use O3 Mini High and toggle search the web on. Then I can paste in my code and ask it if all of the models or libraries are up to date. After confirming that the script actually worked and it was able to trim down my 40 minute long raw video into 12 minutes of solid content, my next idea was to offer this as a service within my Bubble app. And to do this, we were going to have to host this script on a server and feed the outputs to my users via an API. Again, O1 Pro reason for one minute and 21 seconds. It gave me a high level overview of what exactly needed to be done. And then it actually put all that code together into one long script. Let me show you a bit of what's going on. Step one, it takes in your raw video file and extracts the full audio into either an MP3 file or a WAV file. Then it detects speech segments. So it looks through that audio that it extracted and sees where there is sound and puts those chunks of speech into a JSON file. And that JSON file looks something like this. So it shows that I'm talking here from 16 seconds to 18.62 seconds. Here I'm talking from 35 seconds to 41 seconds. And it did this for the entire video. Then it takes that raw audio output, those chunked speech segments, and sends it over to Whisper API. Whisper API is OpenAI speech to text. It uses the Whisper model and it transcribes audio into whatever language the audio is in. The cost of Whisper 
is 0.006 cents per minute. After it's transcribed the audio, it cleans up the temp folder. It removes that temporary audio file. The next step is it sends that transcribed JSON. And here it is right here. So I go, hey, Wes here. Then I say you a bunch of times. I stuttered a bit trying to get my footing, but it's transcribing all of that audio. And you can see that it's putting it in all of those chunks. So it takes that transcribed JSON, it sends it into a large language model. For this, I'm using GPT for Omni. And then it shoots out a suggested final video script. And that looks like this. You can see it removed the entire start of the video, all of those stuttering U's. The large language model figured out that that shouldn't be a part of the video. It doesn't really roll with the final script. And you get back all of the clean cuts. Then the final step is it takes that JSON body and it actually makes the cuts to the video and then renders it out into your folder. In the small example that I sent it, the original length of the video was 24 minutes. And that's pretty good. Usually my videos are like 40 minutes, lots of mistakes, but it turned it into a video that's 10 minutes and 18 seconds. More than half of the video was cut. If you're curious of what I used to do, I used to use a software called Timebolt, and this kind of did the same thing. You would import your raw video file and it would automatically cut out all the silence, only leaving all the talking sound. Now it would also catch some other sound like this. So I would still need to go through the video and cut and splice and remove all of those bad parts and then also remove all of my mistakes. So yes, it would shorten the output. This one was shortened from 27 minutes to 15 minutes and 56 seconds. It would still take me 30 to 40 minutes because I have to listen to it, go through, make sure it's not go through, make the edits one by one. And this process is usually like 30 to 40 minutes. It's definitely quicker. It's definitely quicker than if I just edited the entire video in a video editing software. That would take forever to find all of these silences and make all of those cuts, but it's still time that it adds to your workflow. With this Python script, it literally cuts down your video editing process to zero minutes. You send the video in and then wait for the result. All you have to do is film it. The last part of the code that was added by O1 Pro, this was the fast API layer. It's pretty cool. It allowed me to make an API call and I tested it on local host. I sent through a video file that I uploaded to Google Drive and it processed it without issue. If you want to try this AI video editor for yourself, I'm going to be offering it as a feature alongside all of the other AI agents on youraiagent.com. The AI video editor instantly trims silence, refines your script and delivers a polished video. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work on the platform because the costs are quite different. It's being hosted somewhere else, maybe a credit system where you get so many AI video edits per month. That's still up in the air, but we have a host of all other AI agents on this website. Anything from Tumblr bots, Twitter bots, Amazon affiliate agents, social listening tools, auto blogging, newsletters, Reddit boss, Reddit bots, SEO heisting your competitors, LinkedIn posters, email support agents, chat bots, automatic blue sky posters. We even have Pinterest, auto marketing and auto follow agents. We're building some cool things here, trying to automate all of your business tasks. I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you're a wannabe developer and want to learn how to build your own AI agents, check out my online course, how to build a custom AI app. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.